What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with main assembly and you'll notice here we've got a cool new looking car. After the last episode I saw some of the contours and stuff we did and I decided to build something that actually took a little bit of time for this episode. So we're going to continue with the survival challenges, uh, we're going to do push to the limit and of course gauntlet push to the limit. We've got to drive through the checkpoints, poke the dummies, score with the football and gauntlet finish without drive motors. Are you serious? All right, we're going to have to change our car. But regardless, let's take a look. I'm going to show you guys. This is so cool. I really, really like this car. It took way too long to build. And I think it looks super, super slick. It's just got all the cool little features. It's definitely small, but you can see we've got hidden wheels. Like the wheel wells are built way up in there. So the suspension and stuff is still all active, but it's all super hidden. We've got these beautiful contours. We've got two little ports on the back, which are actually... For the exhaust, when you activate the thrusters, you'll see the smoke comes out the back because, of course, we have thrusters hidden in both sides. And then, of course, we've got, you know, all the different spoilers and every single one of them uses the aerodynamic features. So, of course, the spoiler actually does do something, which is absolutely amazing. But I just love this car. It took me way too long to build. And I love the fact that you can have, you know, brake lights that actually go red. And then, of course, you know, when you go in reverse, they go white. And we can, of course, turn on those front lights as well. So just really, really cool stuff. But let's uh, let's do this challenge real quick. So it shouldn't be too big a deal. Poke all the dummies. We can, of course, just kill him right away. We have to score with the football, which is back in that corner. We'll get that out later. And we got to drive through all the checkpoints. So we'll just uh, thrust up. Uh, easy mode. Go through this one. Oh, that's a... Oh, boy. Oh, hit the front end. It's okay. This car actually has a lot of different body panels. So... It can take a few hits, just like that. We have no back end. We're still going. Oh, now we're, now, now we're, now we're nothing. It's really, really cool, though. I absolutely love the crafting system in this game. And this build took me a while. It took a fair amount of time, which is why I didn't really do it on camera. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? We're still good. Look at that. But I actually built a frame. You can see I built a proper sort of, you know, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have stayed there. But yeah, I built a proper frame sort of substructure on it. Not exactly like a real car frame, uh, but you know what? It's a substructure, and then of course there's all the body panels on top of that. So when we get hit, most of the time you're just going to lose a body panel, and the substructure that holds all the wheels and the thrusters and everything else should stay intact. Did we get all the checkpoints? That's three of six. Oh, there's one up here. The front's a little bit shallow. This is more of a race car, less of an off-roader, but... Oh, there's a really... It's a... Okay, whatever. It's a shoving, pushing thing. What's up here? Where's the other checkpoints? Okay, there's one here. Can we... Okay, we gotta hit that dummy. There we go. The dummy got poked by the basketball. Pretty much lost all the parts of this car. Oh, boy. Yeah, that... That... Holy cow. Okay, these basketballs are violent. Come on. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, okay. Didn't want to go back here. It's fine. It's, oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. We're okay. Still got most of the car left. Excuse me. Okay, we got that one perfect. Uh, so now all we need to do is somehow steer the ball into the finish. But I think we're just going to do this like we did last time. Just take really big hits and then back away from the ball so the basketballs don't hit us. So we got to get it out of this corner. All right, we're just going to let that roll into the middle. And then we'll just full boost. And just push it like that for a fair amount of distance. Okay, it literally got hit on the checkpoint, didn't go anywhere. That's fine. Okay, did... Did you guys see that? The ball, like, just launched on its own. That's cool. That helps. Here we go. Another big boot. Nice. Nice. Not, not so good. We're getting wrecked. Oh, God. Yeah, no, we're gonna restart. Okay, so where is the ball? There are so many basketballs on this map. I don't know if they despawn or not. I feel like they don't. They just keep collecting. Okay, right there. Uh, that was not... That was a bad, bad collision. I should have pressed the brake. The spacebar brake does way more than reverse. I know in Scrap Mechanic, when you go from forward to reverse, it just acts like a brake. But in this, you actually have to tell the motor to brake, and it makes a huge difference. So you have to remember when you're driving to use spacebar to brake... And then actually press S when you want to go in reverse. Okay, we just got to go get a hit. Are you serious? It was going in. Why did that not go in? Oh, no way. Yeah, no, I get it. We'll go back to start. Oh, nice. Perfect. Let's hit this. Okay. 
Kind of. See if we can just kind of push it over. We just need to get it over there. Did that count? It counts. Nice. It didn't even go through the post, but it still counted. Awesome. Perfect. Survival challenge. Push to limit. No problem. Now we got to do the gauntlet. I'm so excited. Finish without drive motors and poke all the dummies. Now, the question, of course, is do these count as drive motors? The answer is yes. Let's just create a whole new robot here. So we'll just turn this into basically a tank. Um, and I mean, it should work pretty easily. So we'll just extend this all out. Make sort of a little bit of a cabin. We're not going to do anything too fancy to try and make this, you know, look all amazing or whatever. We're just going to kind of make it work. So we'll extend this out and like so. And I think actually we can move all this stuff back. Perfect. Make this a little bit narrower. Uh, I'm not really too worried about getting hit by the basketballs. It seems even if you have a really tough vehicle, you just get killed anyways. So, I mean, it's not really that big a deal. All right, and then we'll do some drive motor stuff. So we'll put some large drive motors. Uh, I'm not sure if they make a difference. I know it's heavier, but I don't know if it affects the overall power of the motor or anything. But you know what? We'll just say bigger is better and go with that. And I mean, that's basically our vehicle. We've got no actual drive motors. We've just got wheels and we'll set this up with a tank system. And you know what? We're, we're going to put thrusters on it. Every vehicle needs thrusters in this game. Done. And then we'll configure it. So we don't need... Well, we do need WS, and we do need A and D, but we got to do something a little bit different. We got to set up some tank stuff. So in order to do that, um, we just got to add some math. So add, add, subtract, 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 subtract. And of course, just go add, subtract, subtract, add. And then we got our motors, uh, large beta, large alpha. Shouldn't really matter. We got to go like that. Power on both. Set them to mirror mode. Oh, perfect. They actually color them now, too. Did you see that? That's so great. So, WS goes to this, WS goes to this, and this, and this, and A and D goes to all these. Believe it or not, this is a really cool tank drive system, and it actually kind of works. And I'm not sure if we have these connected right or not. We'll just try it out, and then we should be able to just flip it if it's wrong. So, if we print this, W goes forward, S goes reverse, A rotates right, which is wrong, and D rotates left, which is wrong. So, I've got it slightly backwards. Shouldn't be a problem. We just go in here and we can really just reverse this. And there we go. Reverse that input. We could also, you know, reverse these connections as well. Um, but it's just as easy to reverse the input in this game. And then, of course, we can print this. And now A rotates left. D rotates right. W goes forward. S goes in reverse. This thing has got lots of grip, though. And it's really fast. Holy cow. Oh, okay. Well, we popped a tire. It's fine still we still drive we're just trying to test here guys can you please can you please leave us alone for a second all right and then thrusters all right perfect and space that's that's the break all right poke all the dummies you're already dead perfect where's the next one let's go up yep no great okay down okay this is oh boy this is really hard you can't steer with a tank you have to kind of stop and steer with a tank in this you can't just you can't just keep driving and turn at the same time uh which is a little bit sort of difficult. I'm not sure if I could fix that with my wiring. Um, maybe. Yeah, no, we're... Okay. Ow. Ow. Okay, we, well, we have one wheel. This is a good thing about tank drive, though. It still almost works with one wheel. Until you do that. It's definitely difficult to not be able to turn and drive at the same time. Especially when you got these basketballs shooting you like crazy. Alright, just deke. Deke. No. Ooh. I like hit. Okay, that one hit too. Oh my goodness, that one. All the wheels. Did you see that? All four wheels just went backwards and the vehicle tried to go forwards. That was awesome. Okay, this, this is a really difficult challenge. This might be a little bit tougher than the first one. Um, we can definitely just do this. Send it. Okay, maybe we can't. Uh, okay, this is a nightmare. There's so many basketballs now. You know what? This might actually help... Oh my god, that was three hits all at the same time. This is insane. How are you supposed to... I didn't even leave yet. You know, we might have to restart this level to remove some of these basketball shooters. The one in the back, they just, they're just they just constantly shooting. I'm not even leaving. And look, they're just destroying me. Like, for no reason. We might we might have some serious issues with this map for some reason. Alright, let's just, let's just deke out everything. And can we go up? Okay, that works. 
And then we'll go across here. Found along the edge of the wall. This thing is very, very difficult to turn while driving. That's sort of the issue. Okay, sneak along. Okay, perfect. Look, the wreckage from our previous attempt is still here. Stop! Literally no mercy. Down we go. There's a hard hat. Need the hard hat and the dummy. I can't hit this hard hat. Are you serious? Well, I can kill this dummy, no problem. Okay. Oh, got the hard hat. Perfect. But now, of course, we're completely destroyed. And this is like the first time we made it here. You know what? This still works. No, 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 it's not. All right. You know what? I think we have to change this. I think we got to make the front end actually have a servo motor because there is literally no way we're making it through this without a proper steering system on the front. I just can't turn fast enough. And the fact that we have to stop in between each turn just makes it an absolute nightmare. So let's just take this front end. And we'll just drag it up in a really awkward way. And then extend it forward. And we'll put a servo motor underneath it. Which is one of these guys. And this kind of lets us, you know, set a specific angle. Sort of like a controller. So there we go. And then, of course, we got to put another chassis piece underneath that. And just extend this down. And then put our drive wheels for the front on this piece. Just like that. And... I mean, we can adjust the servo as well. Let's see what its current angle is. So we check it. So it's going to go between 45 and negative 45. So we can actually... Let's bring this to 30. We don't need that much steering, I don't think. All right, perfect. Here we go. Excellent. This is insane. All right, here we go. Round this way. Excellent. Through here. This is definitely the gauntlet. I'll give them that much. They definitely made it feel like a gauntlet. That's for sure. All right, we got to get that dummy, I think. I don't think he's the one we've hit. Oh, no, we did hit him. Okay, is there one down here, maybe? Uh, no, this is just a sink. Okay. Let's get out of here. We have to jump. Are you serious? We have to go up? Okay. Okay. Oh, we actually survived that jump. That's so crazy. Oh, we got the fifth dummy somehow. Perfect. Now we just gotta drive over this. Come on, get it to the end. Get to the end. We just gotta make it to the end. Oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. No! No, 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 no. What are you doing? Don't drive stupid on the road. Get get back up. Get back up. No! We were so close! Are you serious? That one buoy? Like, oh, just make it. Just make it. Okay, we're good. Up and over. Up and over. And then through the, the really bad dirt section. Come on. We're so close. Please, please, please. Oh my goodness. Yes. 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 Finish without drive motors. That was the worst challenge ever. Oh my goodness. The gauntlet. That was so much more difficult than it needed to be. All right. Well, one final thing I want to do. You know what? Let's try the gauntlet with my regular sports car. I feel like the sports car is definitely a better thing. Let's save this one real quick and then let's load the sports car up and let's just see if we can drive through the gauntlet with this. It's got good steering. It's got good handling. It's got proper thrust. I feel like we should be able to do this one try, no problem. It's definitely slower, um, but it's just, it's a lot easier to control. Oh, got a hit there, but you know what? This, this feels easier. As long as we survive that jump, I feel like we're going to be okay. Uh, obviously I have drive motors, so I'm not going to get that. Yeah, no, we survived the jump. Get a little hit. Look at that. First try with the sports car. Amazing. This is why they don't want you using drive motors on this challenge, because they definitely just make everything that much easier. Look at that right through in one try no problem but definitely let me know what you guys think of main assembly in the comments down below i'm so glad we finally got the survival done we're done with the driving done with the survival and now of course we're gonna get on to the logistics in the next episode i'm so excited for that because logistics is just i mean all the cool stuff all the really technical things but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and while you're at it hit that like button hit the subscribe button and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time